Okay, so I'm here on Dartmoor, uh, just west of Burratall Reservoir. And I was hoping to come out and actually film a little bit tonight, but the skies are way too cloudy, so, so much for that. Um, but hopefully in a few days time, uh, should be fine again, getting lots of sun. And uh, friends are gonna come out and we're gonna set up some cameras on our night vision, point them at the sky, see what we can find. Um, might be lucky and get a satellite that stops and uh, satellite that stops and turns around on itself and zips off, but we'll see. Um, it's about a thousand foot above sea level here. And I think by the time we come out, um, the moon will be uh, roughly about 30, 40% full. So should get pretty good um, star field. I'm um, not sure about Milky Way, probably a bit too early by the time we're out. Um, but yeah, it's, well, you can't see anything here at the moment, but um, yeah, it's a good, it's a huge area. Um, never been up here before. So here we are in the first location using 850nm IR torch. I'm guessing that's moisture in the air, not actually orbs. There was quite a lot of it flowing towards me. See it lights up the foreground quite nicely. It doesn't cause interference with the Aurora Sport. Using the grey scale again, tend to vary between that and green. Very slow moving that. Unfortunately, the night vision is good, but if it is a light source, it kind of blows out its detail, so it just does look like a circle. Here's the same clip at 400 speed. Gives the impression sometimes that objects are curving, uh, maybe wishful thinking. Often I think it is just illusion and perhaps lens distortion. Animals tend to let you get quite close in the dark. It's like they uh, feel like that you can't see them. I'd never do this through the day, as I found out earlier when I first arrived. Again? Seriously? light source in the trees. I'm not quite sure what that would be unless that's where my car is, but I don't think it's visible from this point. So I'm going to wander over and see what it is. I think it's starting to rain. Here we are using the 940nm torch to start with. You can't see it so much here, but it causes uh, horizontal lines of interference using, well, so far three of the four 940nm torches with the Aurora Sport and the Pro. Uh, ironically, the one I didn't like the operation of uh, didn't cause any interference, but I didn't know it at the time. That's dialed down the power. Of course, you can see the noise appearing. Okay then, let's go into the foresty area. I'm sure it'll be fine, even though it looks creepy as hell. 